Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf Nut channel and welcome to the update for the Apex 24 and the Apex DCB 24. Now, you guys may have already noticed that Callaway have already updated, they've released the Apex Pro, the Apex CB, the Apex MB, the Apex UT, which is their driving iron, and the Apex UW, which is a utility wood. They've released the new family, the Apex 24 series, already. But they haven't released the update to the standard Apex and the Apex DCB. The standard Apex and the DCB are going to suit the largest lump of golfers. Now, what I mean by that is if you look at a triangle of golfers, yeah, I think a pyramid of golfers, you're looking at the MB, the blade, effectively. That's going to be for the top end where there's snow at the very top. The, the very best of golfers, the one that can strike it very well, etc. Then you've got the CB, um, going to be slightly lower on the pyramid. Pro, even lower on the pyramid. But you're looking at the fat part of the pyramid is definitely going to be the standard Apex and the DCB, the most forgiving one. Now, why have they not released them? So again, this information that I'm going to now give is not a direct update from Callaway. It's not an official release from Callaway. What I have basically been able to do with much research and scouring the internet through multiple different sources is there is a lot of information out there why Callaway have not released the new update to the Apex, which was the Apex 21 and the Apex 21 DCB. Apex, first of all, the Apex is gonna be the middle of the pyramid. They're gonna be the one that's gonna be transitioning into more the pro and the CB, the more players side of things. The Apex, I actually used the Apex CF16s back in 2017, I did for a season, just to see how much difference a player's distance iron is going to make to my game. Uh, and I was playing basically blades then, so that was an interesting experiment. But they are basically suited for the player's distance side of things and transitioning to the player's uh, pro, CB and MB. They've got technology in that have always had like AI faces or especially the newer ones have. They've got tungsten in them. Uh, they are forged, they are 1025E, but obviously we are talking about transition and technology and center of gravity as then you go into the DCB. The DCB is their biggest one, their deep cavity back. They also do a TCB as well, which is more of a, like a tour inspired multi-material thing. I wouldn't be surprised if the TCB gets dropped for, uh, for the Apex 24 range. The TCB wasn't a massive seller for Callaway and with its traditional lofts, etc., it is much more down the player's side of things than it really is for the game improver. So it's the main Apex and the DCB which is gonna drag the most attention. So what are we gonna see when it comes to this new Apex 24? You are still gonna have the AI face. Again, this is not from Callaway. This is what I've been managed to piece together. You're still gonna have an AI redesigned AI face. You are still gonna have tungsten in there and a rather large a lump of. You are still gonna have the 1025 uh, shell, we'll call it. They are forged components, but it's a shell, so they are laser welded together for feel, etc. And you're gonna have the microspheres in there as well for feel side of things. And that's gonna be the same for the DCB and also the uh, standard Apex. Now, why have we not received already the update to the Apex 24, at the same time we received the updates for the Apex 24 Pro, CB and MB, and UT, and UW, yeah. Well, from what I'm understanding is, and I've got to give credit to Callaway on this, I really do have to give credit to Callaway. In, in a world where we are at, at present, where money is tight amongst a lot of people, when Callaway was making the update to the 21, into the 24, they were changing certain things like AI faces, etc., and they were getting the performance jump that they wanted, great. But what they were finding is because of the processes involved, because of the manufacturing difficulties and doing what they wanted to do with all the different components, they were finding that the, the whole package was becoming very, very expensive to produce. And so therefore, the money that they would have to charge the end user, the golfer, in their own mind, was out of sync with where they wanted it to be placed. And so to make sure that they effectively didn't produce something which no one could effectively buy because it was too expensive, they 
basically scrapped the design. When I say scrapped the design, that they kept, they wanted to keep the performance jumps that they've managed to get from the new design of AP, uh, Apex 24 and Apex TCB 24. But they want to do it in a responsible way for the cost. And so they have delayed the manufacture of everything to try and redesign certain parts, basically to try and make it more um, affordable for you guys when it comes to being on the shelf. And so you've got to give credit to Callaway for that. Um, a lot of manufacturers in the past have literally just released things on the basis of that's what they've released and it is this cost. And everyone's eyes had popped out of their head thinking how much for an iron? And you've got to remember the DCB and the Apex, the standard Apex is going to be for the fat part of that pyramid of, the, of golfers that are going to be thinking about purchasing these. So it is going to have the biggest effect. It's not like we're talking about the MB. The MB is their blade, is their hardest to hit, the most players, elite players inspired one. And if that was 400 pounds a head, that's just, it's not, but let's just say 400 pounds a head. Because you're gonna have such a very, very small amount of sales from the MB, it really wouldn't really make that much difference. I mean, we are talking, of course it'd be ridiculous, but it won't have that much effect. When you're talking about the Apex DCB and uh, standard Apex being really expensive, it would have an effect on a massive amount of golfers. And so credit to Callaway for trying to do and redesigning it in a way to try and make it cheaper. And it will be cheaper, which is not, I'm not saying cheaper than the old one, but I'm saying cheaper than the original design. Now, I know this is probably not the news that you're expecting or wanted to know that the new 24 standard Apex and the 24 DCB probably won't be around for another nine months or so. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that the information that is out on the internet in many different sources, left, right, center, everywhere, is put together and like whittled down to the, the most likely story about what's going on with Apex going forward. When you look at this, this what's so important with this whole family of Apex, I just wanna say this before we finish. Um, Callaway also has to be congratulated with how they have made the Apex family. The Apex family now, uh, if they design and make this new Apex DCB and also Apex standard in a very, very similar way when it comes to the looks as the Pro, CB, MB and UT, Callaway have potentially or will potentially make the best blending iron sets in a family of Apex I think of any manufacturer have ever done. Th currently you've got the Pro, CB, MB and UT which basically look within reason identical so, and the lofts aren't mega cranked and so you can actually have a completely full blended set and it won't just be a mess of lofts etc. If they do the same thing with the standard Apex and also the DCB but keep lofts sim well not can't do similar but sensible I think the 7 iron of the old Apex 21 was 30.5 if they could increase that to say 31, 32, I don't know, it's going against what normal distance inspired releases would go towards. But if they could keep lofts sensible and have a fairly seamless blend, you could be in a situation in Callaway Apex family that you could, not that you would, but you could, you could easily go from DCB all the way to an MB and everywhere in between, all blurs in between, in a seamless bag. It would be mental and so, so good to see. Only the likes of Callaway, maybe Taylor May, could go against a distance inspired cranking of loss as time's gone on to try and get the launch monitor win within the custom fitting. And so if Callaway did do that, it would, I think, potentially be good for the golfing world to keep lofts a little bit more sensible and start truly being able to blend a full set of irons all the way from forgiving all the way down to the elite players hope you like the video if you did thumbs up go on youtube like so do i down there is a the subscribe button it's great if you could subscribe it's free and it's brilliant for the channel so thank you and next to that is a bell icon that's a notification bell if you click that one that will notify you next time i upload another video i will make sure that if i get any more information or a solid update from callaway as to exactly what's going on in the future i'll also put another post or update video to let everyone know what's going on so hope you well We'll see you again soon.